Thank you very much for keeping it why in the morning. My name is Ram Aguko. It's just time for the next conversation of the day. And today it's all about talking about mental uh, health, especially in the youth. Today, let's talk about mental, and, uh, relationship, mental health and relationships among the youth. How healthy uh, or how, does your, how can your mental health affect our relationships? Can it affect the way we socialize, the way we interpret information, the way we deal with other people, the way we also raise up our families? Is it possible that our mental health can have a long-lasting effect even on our own children and their children after them? Well, this particular conversation uh, uh, that we shall have today, I uh, am with Grace Karaoke. She is a therapist. Uh, she'll tell us more about what she does, um, and, and my, my, she has a good, a very good CV. Karibu sana, Grace. <laughs> Thank you for finding time to join me. I am so glad to be here. Thank oh. you for the invite. Oko salamas. Kabisa, kabisa. Now, tell eh. us, you are a therapist. Yes. Uh, tell us more about what you do mm -hmm. and the areas that you always cover. Yes, I am, uh, uh, my degree is in marriage and family therapy, mm -hmm. and I also do mental health counseling. Mm -hmm. So uh, anything, mental health, depression, anxiety, panic attacks, mm -hmm. uh, stuff like uh, substance abuse, anything that has to do grief, trauma, I am mm -hmm. I'm the person to look for. You're the, you're the go-to <laughs> person. <laughs> yeah, I'm the we, go -to you, person. You're like our, our modern day church where... <laughs> You know when people have problems, they uh, go to church. They go to church. So when, when people have mental issues, they come to grace. They come to grace, yes. Um, where, do, where can people find you? <coughs> I, I do my sessions mainly online after the COVID yeah. uh, situation. Mm -hmm. But uh, I'm, I'm based in uh, Ridgeways, which is off of Kiambu Road. Uh -huh. And that is where I do my physical sessions. Uh -huh. But mostly uh, I do a lot of online through Zoom, WhatsApp, mm -hmm. uh, Google Meet, mm -hmm. wherever a person is able to reach me. Uh -huh. I'm really happy to be of help. Uh -huh. yeah, I also uh, do a lot of social media, so I, uh, I have a lot of following uh -huh. on uh, IG, on Facebook, and I also have a website that uh -huh. people, that's the way you make an appointment to reach me, is okay. to go tell, to my Facebook. Tell, tell us your website and uh, your social media handles. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, my website is www gracekarioki.co.ke uh -huh. and over there you will find everything. Because you, you, you can click. I have a YouTube channel. It's called Live by Design mm -hmm. with Grace Karaoke. Lots and lots of information on mental health and relationships. I, I told you this, 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 <laughs> this lady has a lot. I told you. So, um, <laughs> one. <laughs> well, Grace, um, mm -hmm. even as, as, as we start this conversation, yes. I would like uh, you, know, you guys to check her out on, mm -hmm. her, on her social media platforms. Mm -hmm. Ensure that you engage with us. The hashtag is why in the morning mm -hmm. at Ram Aguko is my handle at Y254 channel is the station handle at Michelle Ashira, my colleague's handle. Remember to head over to Facebook, drop in your comments. As we continue with this pro uh, conversation, ask your questions, ask away. Mm -hmm. She is here to answer all your qu queries. It's all about mental health and relationships among the youth. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for being part of this conversation. Let's start. Now, mm -hmm. um, let's talk about uh, this from different angles, mm -hmm. Grace. Mm -hmm. Because I, I, I know that mental health mm. is, is so broad. Mm. There are so many things that can affect uh, the mental capacity or the mental health of an individual. Mm. But before we get into the nitty gritties, mm. is it possible for someone to establish mm. within themselves that my mental health mm. is good enough? Yeah, yeah. Because when you think about mental health, mental mm. health is about how you think, yeah. how you, you feel, and how you behave. Because uh -huh. this is what happens, is that you have a thought. That thought triggers an emotion, and that emotion triggers a behavior. It's, so it's it's it, 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 it's 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 a yes. it's a process. Absolutely, one thing leads to another. One thing leads to another. Uh -huh. So so for instance, you wake up in the morning, and the first thing you you think about is, oh my goodness, this is going to be a hard day. And, and, and fine enough, there's a way that particular mindset affects yes, your day. Yes. So now you, you trigger emotions within you, the emotion of stress. And now uh -huh. because you have predicted that the day is going to be hard, the next thing that you feel is, is uh, some sort of uh, negative energy. 
And once you have that negative energy, what do you do? You take the blanket and you put it over your head. That's the behavior. But if you uh -huh. wake up in the morning and say, oh, thank God, what a wow. beautiful day. You get out mm -hmm. of bed mm -hmm. and you go into the bathroom, you wash your face, and you have a song in uh -huh. on your lips. And, and, you, it and you'll changes, have a good day. It changes what you do. Because at that point, you go, you shower, you have a good breakfast, and you are looking forward to the day. Wow. So your mental health is how you, f you think, how you feel, and how you behave. Now, WHO, the World Health Organization, mm -hmm. they say your mental health is as important and probably even more important than your physical health. Wonderful. So uh, young people mm. who are between the ages of 18 and 25, their mental health is very important mm -hmm. because they are moving and transitioning from being children into adults. being adults. Mm -hmm. Now you, you have the capacity to think for yourself to, and to make choices. And so you, if you are not taking care of your thought patterns, mm -hmm. if you are not talking, taking care of how you feel, and you are just reacting and reacting and reacting, mm -hmm. or even not reacting, mm -hmm. then you are going to create a life that is going to be either stressful for you, it's not uh, uh, fulfilling you, or you are going to create a life that is very fulfilling. You know, it's interesting what you're saying. Yes. That it all starts from your head. From your mind. From your mind. Yeah, that's How why it's important. It's important. Mm. So when you wake up in the morning, yes. tell yourself it's going to be a good day, yes. even though you had a bad day the yeah. previous, <laughs> the previous uh, you know, the, the pre pre previous day. Yes. If, if, you're, if you're going to work, yes. even though you have struggles and uh, disagreements, which is normal in the office, yes. when you wake up in the morning, tell yourself it's go today is going to be a good day yes. and it will affect your day. Right. When, if, if you look at... Um, some of these behaviors mm. that people uh, show, because mm. you've said it, 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 it affects your behavior. Yes. If you look at people in the office mm. or at home, mm. is it possible for you to pick out mm. that this particular individual mm. needs assistance in terms of their mental health mm. Mm. or should need to work mm. on their mental health? Mm. Is it possible for you to either pick it out from someone else mm. or mm. notice it within yourself? Oh, yeah, definitely. Now, let's say, let's uh, look at, uh, you know, signs, signs. That, you, that your mental health is good. Exactly. Number one, you don't make assumptions about things that are happening around you. Uh -huh. You clarify, you ask questions, you communicate. Number two, you do not judge other people's intentions mm. without having evidence that what you are telling, you are thinking and saying to yourself about why they did it uh -huh. is correct. Research so for fast. instance, for instance, if I'm walking down the street and I meet you and I say hi to you and you don't respond, mm. My first thought is that you have ignored me, you don't mm. care about me, and therefore you are mad at me. So gorgeous. that thinking is going to create sadness in me, frustration in me, a lot of questioning until you come to the office and then you say hi to me. And then I'm thinking to myself, why are you pretending? I talked to you and <laughs> you didn't say hi. And then if I, if I don't ask you, I will call you a person who doesn't care. But if I, I say, hey, by the way, I, my, I met you on the road, I said hi, and you ignored me completely. And then you tell me, where? Oh, I, I, I didn't see you. And then, mm. and then I say, how? how? Not, uh, then you will tell me, actually, I was, I was hurrying because there was something. Your mind was somewhere else. Mm -hmm. So if I do not learn how to understand human behavior, then what is going to happen? I personalize everything. Mm. You know, if you... Person, tend to personalize everything, you know your mental health is not okay. You need to work on yes. it. Yes. Now, how can you tell another person has mental health issues? Mm. Sadness. You can tell somebody who is sad. Yeah. Isolation, especially for, for, the, for the, this age, age group. They, a lot of isolation, withdrawing. You said from uh, 25? Yeah, from, to from 18, 18 to 25. 25. You find that there is a lot of isolating, mm -hmm. withdrawing from social situations, mm -hmm. lack of interest in things people used to love to do, and then a lot of restlessness. You know, quick tempers, um, uh, you know, uh, yelling and shouting. And also, behaviorally, we develop what we call coping mechanisms. Mm. And these are, sometimes it is drinking something, smoking 
doing something, uh, some, some way I'm going to escape to something. Which will lead to some more Ma problems. Much more problems. Addictions. Yes, addictions mm -hmm. and, and other self-destructive behaviors. Now, now, the other thing that we need to understand is that our upbringing, plays a big role on how we develop in our mental health, our mm -hmm. emotional health, mm -hmm. and psychological health. Mm -hmm. There are some thought patterns and some belief system that are created by the way that we experience our parents. Mm. Now, this is what I normally tell young people who are in this, in this space in their lives, mm. that take time to get to know yourself. Get in touch with who you are by doing a simple thing. Start writing your life history from the time you are you are as as long as you can remember okay. and take take segments like 10 0 to 10 years old what was my experience what did i experience how did i experience that so you're doing that to evaluate yourself yes to understand yourself how did I used to feel at home? Maybe when you were a kid, you used to, to wet the bed, you used to have nightmares, mm. you used to really be afraid of the dark, be afraid of snakes and bugs and everything. Mm. So you need to go back there and get in touch with that. Those people who experience those kinds of fears early in their childhood, mm. they dev that those are the people now who develop anxiety disorders like panic attacks mm -hmm. because you are not sure of the environment. And let me say something very quickly here. Mm -hmm. There are four things that as a child you need to know and to experience. Number one, that I am loved, I am acceptable, and I can give love and it is accepted. Number two, mm -hmm. I need to feel that I am competent, that I have the skills and can develop the skills mm -hmm. to be successful in my life. Mm -hmm. Number three, I need to feel that I am safe. That, that the environment I'm in, I'm safe. I'm, so I'm, I'm experiencing safety mm -hmm. because my parents are not fighting. The people in my environment are constantly not in a fight. There are no chaos. Mm -hmm. People are managing life well. Mm -hmm. And then number four, I need to know that I have control that I can make choices and I'm allowed to make mistakes and learn from them. So this, in this scenario, we're looking yes. at how family affects relationships, uh, yes. especially among those who are growing up. Mm -hmm. um, when, how deep can it go? Yeah. Especially for these, uh, for people who are within this age group. Yeah. Because we are seeing some of them even getting into, uh, into family, someone at the age of 25. Yes, yes. We have in the Kenyan youth of today. Yes. Some have families. Yes. Some have children. Yes. How diverse can the effects be mm. in the long run, even to their ch own children? Yeah, yeah. Now, uh, this is the thing. We are creatures of imitation. And so when we are growing up, and that's why I said, take some time and do your own life, life history. Reflect back. Mm. So that you know, how did I experience dad? How did I experience mom? And how did they shape the way I think about life. Yeah. Many of us, me, I was 12 when I said, when I grow up, mm -hmm. I don't want to be in a marriage like my parents are in. You see, we make certain vows because we are experiencing certain negative things happening within our environment. So when we grow up, and we get into families ourselves, mm. we do not know, apart from what we experience at home, yeah. How do we know what the other alternative is? We haven't mm. experienced it. Because even the person that you're going to start a family with yes. has their own experience. They have their the own baggage that they bring with you. They bring with them. Mm. And so that is why it's important. Before, the best way to prepare for a long-term relationship and young people in this age group, that's what your, your crisis, your developmental crisis is about your occupation. Who do you want to become? Career. Mm. And number two, it is your relationships. Now I'm no longer mtoto wa karaoke, I'm a mtoto wa nani. Mm. Now I am me myself in the world. Stand alone how independently. Do I, yes, how do I now create my own life, my own identity outside of my family? Mm -hmm. And uh, and this identity crisis starts when we are in our teens. We begin to differentiate. We call it differentiating mm -hmm. in family therapy that you begin to differentiate yourself from your family. And that is why teenagers and their parents have a lot of fights and what is the complaint mostly that you, you like understand. your friends mm. more than you like being with us you see it's and because your child developmentally 
the, their emotional space and and, uh, and even uh, their social space is changing. And, 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 and we'll, we'll, yeah. we will get there on the yes. teenagers. But now uh, I'd like you to touch on this particular aspect yes. of how that trickles down. To the, to to, the generation. To, to, to the generation. Because that <laughs> is one thing that affects people. Absolutely. They say that my father used to do used this to, to me. Do this. My <laughs> mother used to do this. In our family, yes, we, we, used... we, we, we do this. You know, yeah. and, and, and you know, you end up wondering, is this a pattern that yes. should change? Yes. or should it continue absolutely it's because like i said monkey see monkey, monkey do. do that's the way we are <laughs> so when we we know that what i have experienced at home i yeah. don't like mm. you see mm. but but what i want i don't know how it looks like can you change so, that pattern yes you can and you can change that pattern if you are self-aware. Take some. That's why I said during right. your twenties, you during your early twenties, take time to get to know yourself before you couple yourself with someone else. So how do you? Yes, it will trickle down mm -hmm. because when you get into the situation where you have to, you have to discipline a child. Now, Najua Sasa, these days, you, I mean, not these days. We have never had a manual that this is the way you parent. There's we no parent, yeah. we parent according to the way we were conditioned, mm -hmm. or we parent against the way we were conditioned. conditioned. So you, you, we say that you, you either, if your father was authoritarian, your mother was authoritarian, you will find yourself saying, "I will never be harsh like that to, towards my children," mm. until you have your own children and you realize <laughs> you are turning into your parent. You see, exactly. so in order for you to change that, yeah. then you need to take some time to know yourself, understand who you are, understand how you relate to the world. And I will say this because your subconscious stores every information that you go through, every experience you've gone through out, uh, throughout your life. It is going to affect the way you feel about yourself, the way you see the world, and the way you receive information from the world. I, I love what you're saying, that at the end of the day, you need to reevaluate yourself. Yes. And you mentioned, write down yes. the story. Write down, write down the story of your life. Yes. And, and <laughs> I think that's how people end up writing books. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> now, now, because what happens is that if you sit down, the first memory, I, I'm going to give a challenge to everybody. Yes. Try to think to the first very very first memory you can remember mm. and i will tell you mine me mm. i can yes. remember my first memory mm. i was made alikuwa na nini ana washa moto ya jiko and me i was running around you know singing skipping and all that's my first memory uh, when i look when i ask my mother how old i was i was around three three years old it, it's 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 not foggy it's foggy you are, your memories begin to form when mm. you are around two and a half to three years old that's when you begin to retain memories because personally, I, I can't remember much about yes. about how things were, but but, but I remember so many yes, things. Yes, it's very foggy. They're, they're, they're so scattered, yes. and, you, and I can't pick out which yes. one is the first memory. Yes, and this is the this is the thing that I want people to understand. Huh. Our lives are very emotional. We remember things in emotional terms. So uh, you remember the things that, that affected you emotionally, whether it was happiness, sadness, sadness uh, you know, positive or negative. Yeah. Those are the, whenever you have this gaping information, uh, mm. uh, re, uh, memories in your mind, mm. stop and ask yourself, why is this memory so, so clear in Distinct. my mind? What is it about? Uh, what are the emotions around it? What does it mean? What did it, how did it impact my life? Because you are remembering a certain situation. Now, it all moves uh, or revolves around self-identity. Yes. It yes. means self-identity has a key yes. uh, a role yes. in emotional uh, health. Yes, yes, yes. Now, if you look at the societal expectations, mm. uh, I want us to look at now the, uh, some of these nitty-gritty things that mm. affect mental health of, uh, of, of, of the Kenyan youth. Mm. Societal expectations. Yes. People want you to become that doctor. Yeah. You grew up in a family where the, your mom is a doctor, your father is a doctor. Oh, your mom is a lawyer, your father is an engineer. And then there is that expectation that you must be a lawyer. You must be an engineer. You are 18. Mm. And at that time, you're looking at pe you know, people who are uh, finishing their high school. Yes. They are getting into campus. Yes. And they're expected to, to make career choices. Yes. 
Yes. Which at, at the end of the, in the long run <laughs> brings in that friction yes. between them and the family. Yes. And you want to say that maybe stuck in Kua here mm. because there's a youth who is suffering from that particular yeah. scenario right yeah. now. Yeah. What do you do? Yeah, exactly. Now now the 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 issue of, of now self identity and mm. differentiating yourself who you want to be versus who your parents want you to be. Yes. I normally say that um, that uh, education, going to campus and, and getting an education, mm. sometimes that education is not so much about what career you will go and do. It uh -huh. is actually about social development. It's actually allowing yourself to be mm. in that social space so that you can grow outside of your of your of your immediate family so okay. that you are in this space where you are learning to be an adult mm -hmm. and you are learning to make choices for your life so that you can be able to be independent so wow. your first degree if mm -hmm. you have parents who who have decided that this is what we want you to do i want to say this to young people mm. you can either fight against it and go into college for four years and come out with nothing mm -hmm. Or you can look at it and, and you can tell your parents that uh, this is really what, if they are not willing, because they, at that point they are in control and mm -hmm. you don't have much control. You're still under them. Yes. So either you can go in and be bitter. I did that for six months uh, when I finished uh, uh, Form 4. Mm. Uh, my parents were not able to take me to college. So mm. one of my uh, relatives was mm. gracious enough to allow me to come to her house. And she took me to go and learn how to make dresses, dressmaking. And that's and what you, felt, is that what you wanted? No, no. I wanted to be a teacher. And, and me, what I felt, my experience with what, uh, what that uh, 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 good Samaritan did for me mm. was Amenidharao. Uh -huh. So I spent six months uh -huh. and then three more months of, uh, in, of uh, practicum in a dressing making school mm. and I never learned anything because my attitude was rotten. You I didn't want see, it. I did not see the opportunity. I mm. saw Uyu Mwanamuke Ameni Darao and so I, my brain refused to accept the info. Today, I wish I... Because that was, that was a skill mm. that I was being given that nobody would have ever taken away from me. And, there are many and today, mm. you know, today I have to pay for this dress to be made. I would be doing my <laughs> DIY, you see. So what I'm saying to the young people, wow. if you are in that situation mm. and your parent has insisted, I want to tell you, you can Do either it. choose to be bitter and not see the opportunity or you can look for the opportunity. Uh -huh. Serenity uh -huh. prayer. God grant me the serenity to accept the things I can't change. So wow. I can't change my parents. You can't. But I can give me the courage to change the things that I can. So uh -huh. what is the opportunity here? The uh -huh. opportunity here is for me to go to college and get a degree and learn. And there is, there is things I'm going to learn in school that nobody or, or in college that nobody can ever take away from me uh, so i'm going to go in with an open mind and uh -huh. i'm going to say what is the opportunity here because yeah, after wonderful. you are four years uh. of your bachelor's in business administration then you can you can now after that you can now you have more what do we call more control and you have more opportunity to, to be able to what choose you to what you want to do just remember your mental health is what is going to determine I wish, I how wish. you are going to go on with your own life. I wish I had a room better here. Yeah. <laughs> oh, a point. You can choose whether to rebel yes. or not. Yes. And this is what many people are going through. Yes. I want us to take a short break. Yes. We'll be back after, uh, after this. And I hope you're learning something from home, especially when it comes to this particular conversation on mental health and relationships among the youth. Are you learning something? Are you a parent? Are you, do you have questions? Ensure that you engage with us. The hashtag is why in the morning at Ram Maguko, at Y254 channel, at Grace Karaoke. It's also where you, where you can find her. Yeah, Grace, Grace, uh, Grace Karaoke Middle Dash Nderito. Yes. That's my Facebook. Yes. Or, Facebook. or, or uh, in IG, GK uh, Nderito. Yes. Make sure at that GK you, Nderito. you tag her yes. as we continue with this particular conversation on mental health help mm. it is so important we have a lot that is still coming up after this break we want to also look at so much uh, uh, more in regards to mental health so don't go too far this is why in the morning we'll be back in a bit